Have you ever asked yourself what could possibly be the price of the most expensive house in the world? Who would pay that price? Is it worth it? If so, today you will get all the answers. Hello the greatests. Welcome to the place where everyone can enjoy a life as a billionaire. The average home in the US is worth $257,000. In this case, write in the comments below what price tag do you think has the top house of our list. There are many expensive homes all over the world. The lucky homeowners of these expensive homes had several million dollars to splurge on their home and for good reason. Whether you're looking for a fancy property yourself or are a first-time homeowner, we have the perfect algorithm to find your perfect fit. Here are the 5 most luxurious and expensive houses in the world. Let's start with a modest $390 million. Les Palace Bulls. It translates to Bubble Palace in English. You'll understand why when you see this mansion. The house is adorned with multiple round rooms looking like bubbles that overlook the Mediterranean dot. A Hungarian architect designed this home during the later part of the 20th century. In his dreams, everything was to be round, smooth, and soft, helping bodies, ideas, and feelings to flow freely. The home has many sophisticated features, including numerous gardens, three swimming pools, and a 500-seat amphitheater. His inspiration for the design of the property came from man's earliest dwellings, however, this villa has been seriously upgraded with some really nice creature comforts. This futuristic modern-day maze is a dream residence, with its large, rounded openings bathed in sunlight, reflecting sea and sailboats. If you are asking yourself who would buy this kind of mansion, it is the Italian fashion designer Pierre Cardin. However, he only uses it as a vacation home. Les Palace Bulls is mainly used for parties and events. It was first constructed between 1913 and 1920 for an English soap baron Arthur Crowsfield. The house was designed in the Queen Anne style, it had 25 bedrooms, a 70 feet long ballroom, and a glass rotunda. It had the best views in all of London, and also some of the best parties were held here, the Queen used to visit too. Pierre Cardin said clinging to the rocky estoril, this palace has become my own bit of paradise. Its cellular forms have long reflected the outward manifestations of the image of my creations. It is a museum where I exhibit the works of contemporary designers and artists. What about you the greatest, would you be brave enough to buy a $390 million bubble mansion for only parties? Let us know in the comments. On the fourth place is Villa Les Setters. $450 million. Located in saint jean cap Ferret, France. Estimated worth at close to almost half a billion dollars. It was first built in 1830 and purchased by King Leopold II of Belgium in 1904. It was previously considered to be the most expensive house on the market back in 2017, but has since been overtaken by the next three properties on the list. Villa Les Setters is an exclusive 188-year-old. Pretty ancient, right? A 18-square-foot mansion, within approximately 14 hectares property, a unique combination of history, luxury and a prime location along the coast in the south of France. It was finally acquired by the Marnier Lapistel family in 1924. The gates of the villa open to a long, winding path, flanked by towering palms and the cedar trees that give the house its name. A bronze statue of Athena, draped with a marble tunic, stands guard at the front entrance. A wood-paneled library holds 3,000 books on flora and naturalism, including a 1640 edition of a botanical codex worth several hundred thousand euros. For almost 100 years the family has built and curated one of the prime botanical gardens worldwide. The property came into Campari Group's ownership in 2016. The estate was subsequently put up for sale as non-strategic to the group's core spirits business. The house itself consists of 14 bedrooms. It also has an Olympic-sized swimming pool and a large stable, big enough for 30 horses. Inside, you'll find crystal chandeliers, gilded woodwork, 19th-century oil paintings and a wood-paneled library. Ah, magnificent. Number 3 in our list is Villa Leopolda. $750 million. A gift from a sitting king to his beloved mistress, situated on more than 50 acres of land. Are you curious now? What a history the greatest. It was during the reign of King Leopold II of Belgium when this glorious estate was first created. The king gifted this estate to his beloved mistress. Her name was Blanche Zelia Josephine Delacroix, though she is more commonly referred to as Caroline Lacroix. The home was where the two met for their illicit trysts and where the king could escape his family at his whim. Upon his death, his family disgusted by his bold and irreverent gift to a woman not a royal, evicted the mourning mistress and allowed nephew King Albert to begin using the home as his own. 
For a time during World War I, the estate was no longer used as a luxury villa, but as a practical hospital for the military soldiers injured on the front lines. It was 1919 before Therese Vitali Comtesse de Bochum took over the property and decided to update it, add to it, and return the estate to its former glory. The new owner hired an American architect by the name of Ogden Codman, who purchased all 12 of the structures that were on the property turned into one elaborate estate. His work was complete by 1931. Comprised of two guest houses, the entire estate is created with exterior staircases, sport courts, an excessively sized swimming pool, and requires the daily work of more than 50 gardeners. The home consists of 19 bedrooms, each with its own elaborate and sprawling private bath and outdoor terrace. The home features a bowling alley, several dining rooms and even a number of kitchens, as well as a private movie theater. The home features more than 80,000 square feet of excessive luxury. Who wouldn't love to own such a villa? Well, in present the villa is owned by the widow, Lily Safra, of Lebanese-Brazilian banker, Edmund Safra. Even she attempted to sell the home in 2008 shortly after the inheritance. The buyer was said to be Russian billionaire Mikhail Porkorov, but he denied his interest in buying it and reportedly backed out of the sale. Safra used his purchase deposit to make several substantial charitable donations. The home remains in her name, though it's reported she does not reside there. Today, it's rumored that one of the owners of the home, as it is believed there are several, is Microsoft founder Bill Gates. If you liked the video till now, take a second to click the like and subscribe button for more. Now, let the fun begin in the higher league. With a whopping $1 billion price tag as Antilla. It was designed and constructed by Chicago-based architecture firm, Perkins & Will, and hospitality design firm, Hirsch Bender Associates. The property was built for Mukesh Ambani, the chairman and managing director of Reliance Industries Limited, a Fortune Global 500 company, and India's richest man. The 400,000-square-foot building is positioned in Mumbai's Kambala Hill neighborhood and stands at an impressive 27 stairs high. This 570-foot tall skyscraping home for five is built on a 49,000-square-foot plot and consequently has more floor space than the gigantic French Palace of Versailles. Also, there are nine elevators to take family and guests to their destinations. What's fascinating about Antilla is that no floor is alike, whether in design or even materials used all at the request of Mukesh's wife Nita Ambani. Security is important too when you have such a mansion. That's why it has been built to withstand an earthquake of magnitude 8 on the Richter scale. Oh, the greatest, what could you ask for more? Every whim of the family is catered for. The Ambani home is equipped with a spa, a salon, a ballroom, a 50-seat movie theater and multiple swimming pools, yoga and dance studios and ice cream room. Mukesh Ambani has devoted six floors to his beloved cars, which can support 168 cars, including his Maybach. He even has his own car service station on seventh floor. We know how special is the nature-human connection for Indians. It might be a skyscraper, but Antilia still has a garden. The smartly built mansion's garden lies in the space that holds the W-shaped beams that support the upper floors. The hanging gardens are not just for show though, the plants are energy-saving devices that absorb sunlight, keeping the interior of the house cool. So, when all that's said and done, Antilla reportedly requires a staff of at least 600 to keep things running smoothly. There's also a staff room where security, bodyguards and other assistants can relax. It's no surprise that a palace fits for a queen, top of our list. At $2.9 billion, Buckingham Palace is the most expensive home in the world. But Buckingham Palace is more of a historic landmark than a home. In case you didn't know, the palace is owned by the British royal family and has been the residence of the monarch since 1873. The palace has a breathtaking French neoclassical architectural design, which was favored by King George IV. Before Buckingham Palace became the monarch's main offices, it was a much smaller property called Buckingham House. It started as a place for King James Garden, which featured a small house on the lot. Then John Sheffield, the Duke of Buckingham acquired it in 1698. The Duke built a new home on the land which was completed in 1705. In 1761, King George III purchased a house and turned it into a getaway for his wife. Then, King George IV wanted to make it his official London residence, so he asked architect John Nash to add onto the house and create a U-shaped structure. After Queen Victoria ascended the throne in 1837, she moved into the newly renovated Buckingham Palace, and the rest is history. The Buckingham Palace we see today was designed by architect John Nash in 1826. 
There are three wings of the palace that surround a central courtyard. Queen Elizabeth II currently lives here, though her spouse and children live elsewhere. There's a reason this palace comes with such a huge price tag. The palace is a whopping 828,000 square feet. It boasts 775 rooms, 78 bathrooms, 19 staterooms, and 92 offices. Even the garden is 40 acres in size. How magical would be to live in such a fairy tale, right, the greatest? Well, good news for you all. The queen and her family aren't the only ones that get to experience the magic of this historical palace. Much like Windsor Castle, royal family fans can visit Buckingham Palace in the summer, while the Queen is away at Balmoral Castle in Scotland to get a taste for royal life. It's estimated that if the palace were to be put up for sale, it would be somewhere in the region of $2.9 billion, but it's highly unlikely it will ever happen. With that being said, what was your favorite house? Do you consider this type of home a good investment? Did any of these mansions become a must-have for you? Let's chat in the comments. If you enjoyed the information and plan to be a billionaire in the future smash the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to become a part of the greatest nation.